All right, so we're going to look at surface area and volumes of cones and pyramids. And we're going to traditionally, we're just going to look at um, pyramids that have a base of a quadrilateral, meaning four sides. So let's look at the surface area of the cone below. So the formula for surface area of a cone, surface area equals, and you have the bottom part, which is a circle, so pi r squared, plus the top part, which is pi times the radius times the side length. And the side length is what we call, or slant height, is what we call L. And in this case, the slant height is 5. So I'm here, we're going to plug in what we know. So that would be 3.14 times the radius squared. So our radius here is 4. 4 squared is 16. And to that, we're going to add 3.14. That's a 1. Ew. 1. That, why did I put a 5? 3.14 times the radius times the height. So now, just like with cylinders, we want to do these separately because of order of operations. So surface area equals, so we're going to take our calculators and we are going to do 3.14 times 16, which is 50.24. And then we're going to add to that by doing 3.14 times 4, times 5. And that's 62.8. So now we will add these two numbers together. So 62.8 plus 50.24 and that's going to be 113.04 and our label is centimeters squared because it is surface area. So surface area is always squared. You're going to notice in Schoology that you're going to have two um, answer options. The first one, you would want to put the number you get. And then the second blank, you're going to put the unit of measure, whether it's squared or a 3 for cubed. All area and surface area is to the second power or a 2, and all volume is to the third power or number 3. All right, for this one, now we're going to find the surface area of a pyramid um, Please excuse my little sloppiness up here. I changed it from volume to surface area. So it says find the SA or surface area of the pyramid. So we want to split this pyramid. We want to look at all the faces by splitting it into five different shapes. Because we're going to find the area of each shape individually and add those all together. So let's look at first the rectangular base, which we're going to assume is a square because if the bottom is 16, we're going to assume the left is 16 as well, unless they specifically give us a different measurement. So, 16 times 16, or 16 squared, which is length times width, will give us 256. So the bottom is 256. Then, we want to find the area of this specific triangle. So this would be the front part. Then you also have the back part. So those are both the same. And the slant height of this one is 17, because it's just like on the other one. So that would be 16 times 17 divided by 2, because remember, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. And if we do 16 times 17 divided by 2, we get 136. So the other one is also 136. So now we have two of them left. We have the left side triangle, which mirrors the right side triangle. So this would be base times height. So that one's also 16 times 17 divided by 2, which would also be 136. So if the left is 136, the right side is 136. Now we want to take all five of our different surface areas, and we want to add those together. So if we um, do 136 times 4, because there's four of them, we get 544 plus the 256 will give us a total surface area of 800 inches squared. Now let's look at volume of a cone. So a cone is basically a type of cylinder, but it's actually only one-third of it. So we use the same pi r squared h just like we did with the how much coffee was in the one cylinder. Same one as a cylinder, but for a cone, you divide by 3. So this becomes 3.14 times the radius squared. So 8 squared is 64 
times the height of this cone, which is 10, and we'll divide it by 3. So now you will do 3.14 times 64 times 10, which gives us 2009.6. And then we divide it by 3, which will give us 600. Six nine, and we'll go to two decimals, point eight seven, and then that would be centimeters since it's volume, it is cubed. So six hundred six nine point eight seven centimeters cubed. In Schoology, pay attention to how many decimals I ask you to round to, because if you don't round correctly, you will get the problem wrong. Again, there will be two entries, one for the number and one for the label or unit. Next one is finding the volume of the pyramid. So a pyramid is just like a rectangular prism. So we'd want to do length times width times height, but then we want to divide by 3, just like with a cone. So we are going to do 10 times 8 times 6, divide it all by 3. 10 times 8 times 6 is 480, divide it by 3 your volume is going to be 160 inches cubed. Again, it's cubed because it's volume. If you got questions, let me know. Well, see you later. Bye.